Okay, Assalamualaikum guys My name is Mok Fakrul Hakimi bin Omar I'm from student you at the Bunca Alam And study in Islamic Banking in semester 5 Today I want to share with you guys about the issue tech in Malaysia But wait a minute, before that I want to ask, help you guys to hit my button like and comment in my video Thank you So, let's move to the topic For, do you know about the issue tech in Malaysia? For sure you don't know, right? Okay, let me explain to you. InsurTech is the combination of two words, which is insurance and technology. It is also known as digital insurance. Although InsurTech was established in Malaysia, but the implementation of InsurTech is in Malaysia was slow compared with other countries. The growing adoption of insurance technology will not only result the greatest transparency for the industry but also better for the customer experience and innovative product. The InsurTech also a subdivision for the FinTech which is known as Financial Technology. Do you know when InsurTech was established? When internet banking became popular in Malaysia between 2000 and 2010, insurance industry also further their digitalized by using the e-payment. Therefore, InsurTech was established around 2015 and 2016. In March 2016, the Central Bank of Malaysia was announced the first libera liberation of motor and fire insurance. Then, in June 2016, the Bank Negara Malaysia has established Financial Technology Enabler Group for the better quality improvement, financial service, efficiency and stability financial industry. According to the landscape of, of the InsurTech in Malaysia in 2019 report, Malaysia insurance industry showing a good growth introduced using regulation web in strong governance principle that can breathe smooth sailing for the industry. Bank Negara Malaysia has taken initiative to support InsurTech and achieve the insurance penetration rate of 75%. What are the challenges in InsurTech? In the past and now, innovation has been partially stifled by the complexity of product and services which few outside the industry understand and consumers often find confusing. Insurance is also not as exciting for consumers as other products which technology has been has already disrupted and the insurance industry suffers from an image problem. It's difficult to market product in way that a lot of consumers find appealing, especially for the younger generation. It can be tough for people to think about some typical products such as life insurance. Regulation will be barrier for startups looking to disrupt the industry. The culture of the insurance business is naturally rifts as adverse as odds with the agile and disruptive methods of startups. On the other hand, Companies must remain vigilant to ensure that the data collected to determine insurance policy doesn't discriminate against certain group and also maintain the privacy of user. Impacts on the insurance industry InsurTech will force the insurance industry to step up its game in terms of customer service and offerings. It's no longer going to be case of doing things how they always been done. The challenge is making sure that InsurTech is attractive to cons consumer. This means delivering to tailor product rather than one size fits all. Consumer also want their insurance product to be delivered through mobile. There is polarization in, in InsurTech between use of technology by incumbents to adapt their existing service offering to changing market and disruptive startup ag agiling for market share. The common link is the consumer who will choose between established player and challengers or use a mixture of both. Insurance companies are investing in startup to help them drive the innovation they seek. Seeing this as an opportunity rather than a threat. What are the advantages of the InsurTech? 
Rather than settling for costly product that don't they really fit their needs, InsurTech empower customer to take control of their insurance. They can demand the product that really benefit them. InsurTech can be better reflect the nuance reality of consumers everyday life rather than force them to fit in in an industry's narrow de- definition of their needs issue that can also make the process of obtaining insurance much easier as issue that start up digital fingerprint show with their software that fill out your insurance form based on social data ai technology can be used to provide a tailor service for consumer It can quickly summarize that and present the most relevant and useful product far faster than a human could. The IoT can provide insurers with detailed data about customer to help them develop and offer the right product at the right time. Okay, to be conclude, most of the people are using the internet since nowadays. Insurance company need to make a change to facilitate their dealing with customers. It make things easier for the customer to apply the insurance and also for the insurance company for the de- development of technology.